Welcome back to my channel guys. Nighthawk here with you again in my PvP series. And today uh, I'm going to show you a raid I went went ahead and did. So I was scouting around the center. I come across this base uh, down on the edge here and didn't have any heavies or tech turrets but it had about 40 auto turrets outside from what I could see. Had one big tower right here, some around the bottom and a lot on the top. A lot of autos so I just wanted to see what I could do see if I could get in there see what they had they had a few teams outside not a whole lot though So my plan here was fire a few shots just to see if any of their teams were on neutral. And that's what I went ahead and did. And no, nothing happened. So they were not on neutral, which was nice. This was their main base, kind of tucked in the corner. They had a bunch of heavy, or a bunch of turrets up top, auto turrets, and then a bunch across the front down bottom as well. As well as that big turret tower out front there. So yeah not too bad we should be able to get in here but some definitely somewhat of a challenge being that there was so many autos i figured my best bet since they were only autos but since there was quite a few of them would be just to see if i could soak them because they probably didn't have that much ammo in them just uh, soak them with my rock golem because you know rock golems are really good for that so that's what i went ahead and did just worked on soaking everything real only took a few minutes And within a few minutes, everything appeared to be out. No shots left, as far as I could tell. So I took a quick walk around and went back out. Now just to be sure, maybe there were some that were on players only. So I figured I would fire a rocket in just to see if it gets shot down or not. And if it didn't, I'd know it was safe. And it had not got shot down, so I knew they were all out. So safe to go in with whatever I wanted at this point. So I decided to get a little C4. 
first I took my other throw and took down a turret tower just in case they came back online or something they wouldn't have those turrets to be able to use. Since I had my other throw I went over and figured I'd weaken the door a bit so I wouldn't have to use as much C4 to get in. Save me a couple of pieces, why not? Now there, I wasn't sure if there was internals. I was thinking there probably would be since there were so many turrets out here. So I didn't want to break all the way through quite yet. But get it weakened enough. Then went back with C4, take out the rest of their, or most of their auto turrets anyway. And like I said, in case they came back online. As well as use some C4 to blow the door on this part back here. I was assuming it was probably just a hatchery but I wanted to check it out anyway. And it turned out that's what it was. Just some air conditions in there for their hatching. Now when I blew that, I didn't realize it had also blown the door. And I was ran in here and I was getting shot. So there was internals. It broke my, broke my leggings. So yeah, there was some internals in there. I didn't realize it was gonna blow the door like that, but that's okay. So I went back up there and Looked inside. I see a cryo fridge, which is really good because I was hoping there would be some cryopods in there. Even empty ones, really, especially, actually, because I was out of empties. I didn't have any... I was had all my cryopods filled up, and I was going to have to make some, so I was hoping there was some here. And there was three autos right in the back middle, right there, that I could see. So I figured I'd just, just rocket run them, since they were just autos. I had some decent flak. Certainly not the best, and I, I didn't have a blueprint for it, but I figured I'd just rocket them, run them. But it didn't work out so good. As you see the rocket there hit the RGs instead for some reason. And even the second one didn't really do any damage. And so I didn't make it. Somehow I was thinking it would go over the RGs, but it didn't. So I figured I'd do it the old fashioned way. Simply ride a stego in there. And that would be easy. Obviously I did get one turret down. As you see the left turret was down there. But as I had a stego, I figured I'd just use my stego and that would be easier and just like that they were down so they can't come back and yeah things were looking pretty good A nice bit of gunpowder in there as well as some charcoal and a few other basic resources scattered around. They did have a vault back there that I wanted to get to. Uh, these, this RG and Tyrannodon were kind of in the way so I figured I'd take them out. I was going to leave the rest of their tames because it didn't look like they had a whole lot here so I would leave that so they could come back and continue their playing. But these were in the way, so take them out. Vault was pin coded. So I have to get my RG on, my Arthro on it, sorry. And since I didn't want to sit there all day, whistle him to attack it. I also brought my RG in here, as you see right here, my RG, so I could load all the loot into it and have the weight to get out fine. Arthro was taking out the vault. I went around and collected some of the different resources uh, that I needed, or that I wanted to keep. I figured I'd see how much ammo was in those turrets. I figured not a whole lot. That's why I just soaked them in the first place, but I figured I may as well check. And yeah, there wasn't hardly much ammo at all, so that was probably a good choice just to soak them. The outside ones, they didn't have much. Now out here, they had a grinder here. It had been destroyed with my C4. And I thought I may as well take all this flint, take it inside to the chemistry bins, throw a little stone in there and I could make make spark powder and they had charcoal so I could also make gunpowder. So that's what I did. I just used their 
chemistry bent and fabricator to make myself some gunpowder and they had metal there and I just turned it into ammo then since I was there. Now at this point, my Arthro had destroyed the vault, so that was good. I just wanted to see what was in the vault, so yeah. Hoping there'd be something good, and there was a nice bit of ammo for turrets, as well as several auto turrets. I think nine to be exact. So that was not bad, and a nice stego saddle. So, got those auto turrets which I later took back to base and converted into heavies. And some scuba as well. Their flak was just primitive, so I just I took the scuba, which was always good to have, and I think a couple of the blueprints, but left the rest. And the last thing to check was the cryo fridge. So I opened it up and there was one tame in there, an anglerfish, which was good because I did not have any anglerfish and a bunch of empty cryos, which was also good, so I wouldn't have to make any. So that was very useful. So in the end, we did pretty well uh, from this base. A bunch of cryopods, got an anglerfish, ended up making about 3K turret ammo with that spark powder that they had there, all those resources, so I made that there. Took all that, got a nice stego saddle, got nine auto turrets, pretty good. And really, we didn't lose anything, so ended up certainly making back what I put into this base. Anyway, that's where I'm going to be ending this episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying my PvP series, and I will see you next time.